this man, he called his boss asking him, why didn't y'all tell me they had a new employee, right? He constantly looking back, right? He's talking to somebody, right? Check this out. Just watch, this is creepy. Look, having a kind of whole conversation with somebody. No, you're not. Did you just take a video of me? No. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Your mom's Welcome back to the coolest channel on YouTube. Look, man, I just need y'all to get this video right here like 20,000 likes because, look, it's kind of amazing. You know what I'm saying? But, look, I found some crazy videos on the internet. Y'all been sending me videos that y'all wanted me to see. And, look, we got a crazy compilation for y'all, man. It's, it's, it's one of those ones. Let me know in the comments down below how y'all feel about the video at the end of it, man. But look, we're going to have a good time. You know, good vibes only. Look, if you're going through a tough time in life, just know we're going through this thing called life together. So you never end it by yourself. Just go ahead, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends and families. And look, let's get it. And if you want to send me videos, just go in the comments down below. I'm at the description down below. And, you know, go to my Discord and you can send me videos just click on it you can send me videos if you want to suggest videos send the video to my discord down below y'all yeah. oh jesus christ gotta be careful here you think Did he just fall? Man, that's not. Well, that puts an end to my tarpon fishing. Wow. He said, cuz, you're gonna get the fuck up out my swamp today. This is my food, or you gonna be food. Get back. Am I supposed to be laughing at this? <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. Am I supposed to be laughing at that? My nigga done fell in the bushes and everything. I'm going to show you guys a couple of really strange UFO sightings that happened this week, starting with this one in La Plata, Argentina, where hundreds of people saw this thing in the sky. Local government is saying that these are actually flames from an industry, but it's too high to be flames from an industry. So what is this thing? Check it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. This next one was captured in South San Francisco and a lot of people are saying that this actually looks like a Dementor type creature flying in the sky. Check Can this anyone tell me WTF I just got on camera? South San Francisco. What the fuck is that? What am I getting on camera right now? What is that? What is that? Oh, they're kite. That is not a kite. What the hell is that? There ain't no kite. Honestly, what is that? A plane? I'm sorry. What the fuck? It's not a plane. What is that? Uh. Maybe it could be a runaway kite, though. I seen something at the bottom, too. Maybe. Y'all, what y'all think in the comments down below? Let's get to it. Oh, 
I was looking for the retractable fangs, if y'all didn't notice, but then I noticed that he showed the gum line and I couldn't see him. I, I, I'm pretty sure they ain't got no special effects out there where, they, where they're at in particular. So I ain't mean to laugh at him. I ain't trying to get bit by this nigga, y'all. They about to run up on me and bite this me. This has got to be one of the creepiest things I've ever seen caught on live television. And it happened in the small town of Chosica in Peru in 2023. A news reporter was at this neighborhood of Santo Domingo's doing a story on how everything was flooded. They were at a school and all of a sudden they captured something chilly on Ahora las familias del asentamiento humano Bunga Saldaña continúan realizando la limpieza con ayuda de palas. Otra de las preocupaciones de los moradores es la falta de muros de contención. They were showing several different parts of the flooded school and all of a sudden they decided to go in. This is what they call it. Desde el asentamiento humano Santo Domingo Comité 6 Mira la escalera, ¿cómo podría bajar aquí una persona, un anciano, los niños, cómo podrían bajar, mira? What looks like a translucent humanoid figure can be seen crouching at the base of the stairs. Yeah, I seen that. The news reporter did not see this thing at the time, which suggests oh, that this crazy. is not a normal person or anything like that. Maybe a skinwalker? What the heck? That's crazy. I ain't gonna hold you, that's crazy. This was caught on camera by Chris and Phoebe in Melbourne, Australia. Notice how it looks as if there's something invisible hiding in the clouds. Check this out. Something similar was also seen in the fall of the world. Olha isso, eu tô tentando deixar, deixar o mais nítido possível, brilhando, e aqui em cima da gente... Em cima da gente... Gente, eu consegui filmar, eu acho. E olha isso, tá, tá muito esquisito. Mano, isso não pode ter acontecido, gente. Não, velho, mas foi muito que passaram. A gente só conseguiu pegar o restante do, do, tipo, do final. Something similar was also seen in Mexico City. Check this out. Alguien más vio esto en el cielo? Look how they appear to be coming from behind the clouds. What the heck is going on? What is hiding behind the clouds? Okay, watch this, y'all. Some people believe we live in a multiverse which consists of several dimensions, including a spiritual one. And a lot of people also believe that the spiritual dimension is getting thinner for some mysterious reason, which would explain why there's so much paranormal activity going on. Okay, watch this, y'all. This, this man, he called his boss asking him, why didn't y'all tell me they had a new employee, right? He constantly looking back, right? He's talking to somebody, right? Check this out. Just watch, this is creepy. Look, having a kind of whole conversation with somebody, right? Saying that somebody came and he dapping that person off and everything. Now Pay see, attention. look, y'all see when he dapped them off? Look what happened. What the heck was that? You put out the chair he dapped them off. You look. see that shadow? And then the shadow goes over here and he pulling the chair out for him. Did you see that? He swear, he swear to God, he sat down and had a whole conversation 
with this person. He moved over, talking to him and everything. Y'all better protect yourselves. Whatever that was, take advantage of him. I got a question for y'all. Y'all showing up to work the next day? After they say that you was talking to yourself, my nigga? Like, fuck paying bills, all of that. I'm telling you. I, and y'all think these be jokes. That's real life. I, I promise you. Absolutely not. I'm not showing up again. Money is not that important. <laughs> not when it comes to that. <laughs> sitting right there recording that that's what i'm thinking the whole goddamn time I swear on Jesus. No, she not. No, she not. Jacket, I thought we was cool. Hey, bro, try to get a dog his phone. He want to give his baby mama the phone. He, he, he going. Hey, ladies, pick up on that. Look, IQ. You better get your IQ up. You don't want to turn. You, you want to see what's in his phone? You might want to try that. There's no way that's not an alien. Look at it. It's literally flying in the air and it's not a kite. It's not a remote control airplane. Nothing natural moves like Hey, some people just be on the internet just just capping it up, boy. You see the string and everything from right here, bro. That's obviously a kite, y'all. Don't get played by this type of stuff. Like this. This is literally bro. an alien or something. It's a, it's a kite, bro. Get your ass off the internet. can't believe men are doing this. Watch this older man get called out for taking a picture of a woman in the store. Did you just take a video of me? No. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Your mom says no. Yeah, be careful. I couldn't help it. But you're gonna be exposed. I'm gonna ask your permission, can I? Can you do it? Take a picture of you. Why? <laughs> because you're stunning. Take you, picture are you, of your head now? You have your whole of you. That's weird, don't do that. I'm asking permission. Yeah, I like pretty things. So delete it. But what I love about this trend is there are actually good people out there standing up and calling out these creeps. You have pictures of children on your phone, that's not okay. That's disgusting. You can't take pictures of underage girls in a store. That's not okay. He was taking pictures of these teenage girls and he's walking away because he's embarrassed. Then show anybody your phone. Show anybody. Because you were taking pictures and videos of teenage girls in shorts. I'm not wrong. I saw the whole thing. I'm sorry, baby. If you're going to take pictures of other people's children in stores, you should be embarrassed. Show me your phone then. Why would I show you? 
Because you, if you don't have pictures of those teenage girls on your phone, then you should be doing a show. Why would I show you anything on my phone? Because you're being accused of something serious, and if you didn't do it. Look at his big, no neck frog looking ass that shit is crazy bro like we gotta get this video to like 10 million views to expose mr frog you know that's that's crazy he like he got a hell of a ribbit in here right ribbit. you know what i'm saying like he cro like he just cooking up a good ribbit you feel me that shit crazy then it would bro. be no problem. What fuck did he do? Swallow his phone? Like to try to hide the evidence? But you know you did it. I saw you do it. You saw me see you do it and you started walking away. And listen to what these good men do. I'm waiting for somebody to help me find the ground fall circuit as well. And you thought taking pictures of young ladies is the best I didn't see past it. Time? Hey. I didn't see it. Well, I don't know. Go through. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is that what you want? Yeah. Push okay. Yep. And delete photo. Yep. And then go to recently deleted. Yeah, and and delete that off Keep your forever. Right delete yeah. it off your phone right now. Keep on going. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't just take no, pictures of young women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think you are sitting here taking just. pictures of girls? I don't know. I don't know, man. Go grab okay. someone that works here. Go grab someone that works here right now. I and delete them while I'm waiting. Okay, so you need to stay calm. I don't give a I don't know what you're talking about. You don't get this part. I, I don't see. Look at the stomach on this motherfucker. He look like he eat children. That's crazy. Like I don't think he want to do nothing weird. Well, nothing else to him. I think he just want to eat him. Like he just stuffed the whole kid down his fucking throat, and the child trying to get out of that shit. That's crazy. How you get like that, Mister Sir? Who you think, Mister Creepy Dude? I'm sorry, y'all. I gotta roast these dudes. That's crazy. Big ass feet. You are taking pictures of my girlfriend. This is not okay. It never was okay, and it never will be okay. And this needs to stop. I wasn't scared. Y'all better stop fucking playing with me. I seen that one before. <laughs> My cousin was out with me. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, look. Look, 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 look. We can't talk junk about him for being scared. Cause how many y'all would have ran to? You're not gonna sit here and throw hands with that big ass bird, bro. Ain't no goddamn way. That's a that's a damn dinosaur, bro. That's the closest thing to a dinosaur we got right now. Lynn had just gotten back from walking her dog. Her doorbell camera shows her starting to take off the dog's leash when she looks over to the right, causing her to quickly pick up her dog and get inside. Immediately we find out why. A man comes in the frame and walks right into the front door. He oh, tries the handle, but she managed to lock it just in time. The man then starts putting on gloves, and she also mentioned how he was carrying zip ties. He looks into the house and tries the door handle multiple more times within the next few minutes. Eventually, her neighbor comes outside. To this, the man picks up a nearby garden hose and acts like he's doing yard work. What? Once the neighbor left, the man walks around to the house's back door. Camera recording. He tried forcing the back door open, to which the homeowner locked herself in a room and called the police. In the time it took them to arrive, the man tried breaking in almost every window to the house. He broke off the screen to one of the back windows, but was ultimately unsuccessful at getting inside. By the time police arrived, he had left. There wasn't much the police could do by that point. The homeowner ended up posting the video to TikTok in the hopes that someone could identify the man. As far as I could find, no one could.
It's a lot of creepy men out here in the world, man. Y'all got to start strapping up, too, you know? Because, I mean, this ain't the movies. You ain't just going to be kicking the nigga all in the head and, and beating his ass and shit, you know what I'm saying? Have that yap on you, too. And be smart. Always pay attention, too. That's real. Like, let's let's let's, let's be real for a second. Y'all, yeah, ladies, pay attention. Don't always have your headphones on and thinking that the world is all beautiful and butterflies and rainbows and stuff. Like, pay attention because her head was definitely on a swivel. We definitely got to... Uh, Take that very seriously because there's a lot of missing women on the daily all the time. And, you know, we need to cut back on that. Uh, I think we can cut back on that severely if y'all pay attention. You know, pay attention. She did that. My name is Tommy. I'm with Colorado Pet Patrol. Do you want to let her know what's going on? I was talking to this girl. Apparently, she was only 14. Uh, he clearly knew she was 14. They were actually going to meet tomorrow at 2 o'clock. There was a planned mm -hmm. meeting. Um, we have the chat logs. Were you going to meet her tomorrow in... Um, What's it Platteville. called? Platteville? No. You were going to bring your truck at 2 o'clock and meet her tomorrow in Platteville. That's what she said. No. Okay. Do you want to grab the message? So what are you guys from? Uh, Colorado Pet Patrol. We uh, investigate online adults meeting with children. He was trying to meet Monday, Monday night in Greeley, uh, but he ended up not meeting. Um, no, I thought it was somebody much older. Uh, no. Oh, no. Yes. Whoa, mm -hmm. Hold on. <laughs> We have all the chat logs here. I mean, yeah, I think. So. Um, Ma'am, all real quick too. I'm gonna let her know because you also said she has she's harming animals. Who's harming? My you wife. said you said she's having sex with the dog. No, she's, I did she's not. Let, no, no, no. I, I I got the message. That was when she Sir, I've been talking to you the whole time, so you can keep bullshitting or we can be honest. I'm gonna call the police if you're not honest. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. There's no Rachel. It's me. I've been talking to you the whole time. Do you realize I get so mad mad when you ask to talk sex or you want to ask a 13 year old to have sex with her dog? That's me, all right? We stop scumbags like you from hurting our children. You knew she was 13, just turned 14, correct? Yes, I did. So, so no, are we gonna stop with the lies? No, I'm just saying, at first when I started talking to her, I thought it was a much older woman. Uh, I told you on the second message I was 13, I turned 14 in two days. You told me happy birthday on my 14th birthday two days later. Wow. All right, and we were gonna meet tomorrow. That was, I still wasn't sure about that. But who reached out to who? Well, I messaged her first, but I thought she was much older. Okay, but right away, did she tell I you she was 13? She was yes, I, I understand, I understand. And you liked that. You clearly liked that. I was tempted, yes. And... Do you got a problem? No. Why'd your wife just... I've had a, I've had a terrible year. Terrible yeah. year. So that gives you the right to fuck 13-year-olds? No, no. Because no. you know I've what? Had I've, had a, I've had a terrible year, too. I've this man's had a terrible, terrible year. Have you thought about having sex with 13-year-olds? He's had a terrible year. Have you thought about having sex with 13-year-olds? No, sir. What if she would have got pregnant? No. You, you, you wanted to feel her, but you were going to be a gentleman and pull it out and put it in her mouth, is what you said. But either way, it's getting in her belly. But it was all talk. It's not all talk when you plan a meeting. This video has been published on the dark web with the title, The Dark Web is the Only Truth. In this video, we see a man celebrating his birthday, but nothing scary. But in the description, it says that this man would be 171 years old and that he would have undergone several experiments to get to this point. What do you think? I'm not even gonna hold y'all. Like, how many y'all trying to get to 170? Like, if, if that's what 170 look like, I'm cool, nigga, I pass. Let me know in the comments down below. This dash cam footage was captured by a New Jersey police cruiser in the early hours of the morning of February 24th, 2023. A few minutes before this footage was recorded, several police officers and first responders had left their vehicles on a closed-off highway lane to attend to the victims of a crash involving an SUV that had spun off the road after the driver had lost control of the vehicle. What starts out as uneventful footage of a couple police cars stopped on the highway soon takes a terrifying turn. The dashcam video shows New Jersey State Trooper Stefan Lentini shining his flashlight at an oncoming heavy-duty tow truck to try and get the driver's attention. Alarmingly, the truck doesn't seem to be showing any signs of stopping or even moving to the next lane. As the 40,000 pound truck's headlights continue to approach the trooper and his car, Lentini is forced to run off the highway to avoid the oncoming truck. Oh, your ass going to jail. Your ass going straight to jail. That's crazy.
After the truck slams into three police cars and an ambulance, panic state trooper DeVry Mariano's voice can be heard as he calls desperately for his partner, serving as a chilling reminder of how tragically this crash could have ended. Amazingly enough, no one, not even the truck driver, was seriously injured during the incident. Although the 53-year-old tow truck driver was given a summons for the careless driving that resulted in three total police cars and a damaged ambulance, the factors leading up to the crash have not yet been revealed. Though, many are suspicious of the driver falling asleep at the wheel or just not paying attention in general. Uh, that nigga was sleep. He, he had to be sleep, bro. Like, ain't no way. Ain't no way. Just not paying attention to Like, bro, them bright lights on from the cops. Dark road. He was sleep. That's crazy. The couple is inside the kitchen when this is captured. I don't want to keep hanging out with your friends if that's how it's going to make you feel at the end of the day. Like, it, it feels more like... They don't mean to do it. They're not, they're not, like, planning on, you know... They do don't... you know how it feels to hang out oh with a group God. of people? And they don't even want you there. Like, like, they, they do like, want you there. Like, oh, they want you there. They, they like you. you a lot. No, they don't. They, like... they don't want you there. You can tell how he uh, responded to that. <laughs> That's the only reason. They like, yeah, they like me, they're my friends. Friends, but they're because they're my, but, but they like you a lot. They're acting fucking rude to me. They're not, they're not trying, that's just how they. Just as the argument was getting intense, a plate from one of the cabinets falls on its own. Following that, another plate falls by itself, but not before being flung toward Damien. It's almost as though whatever had chucked it had done so to end the argument between the two. But as if that wasn't creepy enough, this next video is by far the creepiest. You know what? That's crazy. Like by far, you know, um, their relationship is over, y'all. That shit's over. How y'all feel about that? It's over. Look, first of all, all their friends know that they shit that 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 they don't like her. She knows that they don't like her. Um, their relationship is toxic. Obviously, um, it's publicized, and they got fucking ghosts. Whoever's not on the lease, I just leave, bro. I leave you with the lease. Fuck it. Pay the bills by yourself <laughs> with the ghosts. What the fuck? Yo, the sky is fucking blue! And then it turned off! Nope! No. Yo! I got that on camera! I got that on camera! Yo! I got that on camera! Fed just went down, baby. You know what? Fed. Nope. Okay, look at that, y'all. You need anything regular about that? It's nighttime. Yeah. They hide right there. You see that? It's nighttime. It's like nine o'clock. Yeah. See the rest of the sky? And they hide right there. In a nice little triangle. The clouds hiding their shit. <laughs> Bitch, what? Hey, what the fuck? What the fuck? Jerry Bruce is a father who loves spending time with his children. If you hop over to his channel, you'll find that most of his videos have a wholesome quality to them. However, out of all the videos on there, two in particular stand out from the rest. 
these two videos are different and that they show something that doesn't fit with the family-friendly content of this channel. If anything, they seem to have come from a horror movie, one that is based on a family terrorized by paranormal activity. As it turns out though, that's exactly the case here. Jerry has been encountering strange occurrences in his home that seem to be paranormal in nature. On May 26 of 2009, he is suddenly woken up by a strange noise inside his living room. He immediately grabs his phone and begins to record. Jerry writes, I have never seen anything like this. My wife and I were awakened by the sound of a door closing. This video is all I got before me and my family left the house. This is what he caught. Oh, that just got real creepy all of a sudden. It ain't the wind. I don't know if everybody can see this enough, does it? Strangely, the handle on the other side of the door is being turned as though someone inside were doing this. But, as shown in the video, no one is in there. An encounter like this would definitely spook anyone. But then again, there are some who might write this off as being caused by a draft entering the handle's lock. Although it isn't sure if that's the case, it's the second video that seemingly dispels this notion. On July 11 of 2009, Jerry's recording his son when all of a sudden, something really creepy happens. Take a look. Go say fuck it. I'm coming out the closet. I'm kicking shit over. The same closet from the first video can be seen opening on its own. Then, seconds later, a toy flips over by itself. It almost seems like whatever had been inside had tripped over this toy in its attempt to get to the child. It is immediately then that he grabs his son and rushes out of the living room at once. Understandably, Jerry was totally spooked. Viewers believe that he might be dealing with something paranormal. But, as with most videos, it's hard to be sure if that's so. Could it be that a supernatural presence resides in Jerry's closet? Or is something else going on here? You be the judge. Y'all think about that. Worst ways people have died. Jose Melina. Jose was doing maintenance work on a 35-foot-long pressure cooker. Oh, Assuming Jose was in Thebeth room, one of his co-workers shut the door to the cooker. The cooker was then turned on to about 270 degrees. After realizing Jose was missing, the workers looked for him. After searching her career, they opened a cooker to find Jose. Well, damn. Cuz you trying to bite some nuts? Like, why is you? Why did he switch like that, bro? I don't get it. When they do that shit right there, like, what are you trying to? You trying to bite my nuts, cuz? So I gotta run. You know what I'm saying? Like, he trying to get a good angle on him. That's the. That's a crazy angle.
Oh, he got... He was about to get. I thought he was about to get him. I thought he was about to get them chicken nuggets, boy. I'm telling you, that shit crazy. Like, <laughs> woo. Okay. A regular killing. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. Just don't do that to me. You feel me? That's the case. You're here quickly, man. I mean, quick. Grab it. And put it in. Why are you? Yeah. Why was this burning? Just close it up fast. Close it up here. It's good, Dan. It's good. It's all right. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Dan, let me see your hands again. Uh, okay. And now she's transferred. One more time. Okay. Now she's transferred over. And we're going to keep her in there temporarily until. We... Uh, I don't get that, bro. Like, why Why are they keeping that? What? Am I tripping, y'all? Why, why do they keep stuff like that? Them, them niggas won't die, don't they? Like, that's crazy. For my people that don't believe in t stuff like that, the Annabelle doll and think it's possessed or whatever, and it, and it might be interdimensional beings that possess that that entity because they need a body, right? But, but, would y'all let that shit come in y'all house? Absolutely. Me, it's, it's a no brainer. Y'all already know what I'm going to say. Absolutely not, bro. Like, that's, that's not the move right there. But do y'all believe that? Like, they still keeping this thing around even after the movie. Videos that can never be explained. A police body cam captures Lady Vanishing out of nowhere. Hey, how's it going? I'm speeding, wasn't I? Yeah, you completely blew past that stop sign in front of me. I'm, I'm so sorry, I okay. literally didn't even see it. Um, no this worries. is my first time being pulled over. All right, can I see your driver's license registration, please? Yeah. Um, it's not a big deal. Here's my license, but uh, this is my mom's car. Where are you headed to where you're speeding and missing stop signs? I was just headed to a friend's house. It's like literally right there. It's um, okay. a birthday party. Uh, Got it. Not mine, but... Any drugs or alcohol in the vehicle? No, of course not. All right. Sit tight, Sarah. I'll be right back. Okay. Your registration is expired. Where did she what go? The... Sarah? What the heck? Sarah? 3201? To dispatch, hi. Gotta be a movie. Gotta gotta be a movie or something, huh? If not, damn. I see that before. That's <laughs> hey, she knew the assignment. Facts. <laughs> Hi, um, it's Kelly. Um, I haven't been down here in a really long time, like a month or two. I just I, after what happened, I like couldn't come down here. So, but my family's come down here a lot, and so is my brother, and they've like they say they've seen nothing, and my brother like. I made him look through every single room and everywhere, and there's nothing here, and I need to finish this video, so I'm doing it. So, this is a work, and I'm going to... See her, look, look, look. Does y'all see her face? <laughs> the face was facing for me, y'all. That's crazy. Watch this shit. <laughs> Yo, that's real, bro. It gotta be real. <laughs>
Did you see it? Yeah. Something was in the closet, right? Let's look at that part again. Let's see. Here, we can see it now. I don't think the young lady tripping, y'all. But the shit was funny. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Looks like the Kia boy's out. But one thing, I, but I hate a thief. And then, like, they don't even be who you think it be, bro. Like, it be, it be these young kids, too. That's crazy. Look at the girl. You would never think that it would be her. Confused, like was that was that him that was speaking? Was that him that was speaking, bro? If that make it way more creepy, bro. If that if that was the quote unquote ghost or entity that was just speaking to her and that wasn't her dude, that's bro, that's crazy. That's crazy. I I, I feel like look, I I don't you know some of these videos we cap. We can uh, we can all attest to that. Be for real. If you believe everything that you see on the internet, bro, something wrong with you. I'm telling you, you're very influenced, very easily influenced, and you're probably. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. you're probably stupid, probably an idiot, but um, don't believe everything. But that shit right there is weird for me though. How y'all feel about it? Did y'all feel weird? You get creepy vibes from that? That that was really weird. Like, wow. Did he just hit the ghost, bro? He just threw the fade on the ghost. Tell you what I'm not gonna do. <laughs> you know, nah, I'm going the other way. This goddamn dog better not move. That deserve that house deserved to be haunted, bro. Cause the chair don't even, you know that that that's a bench that go outside like a picnic bench or something like that. They don't even go inside it. It deserved to be haunted. Mm 
Fuck the pillows. Knock it off the couch. I don't feel bad for these people. You just got furniture in here for no fucking reason. Yeah, get that shit outside. Oh, I remember this. This this is a little old. Not the steps, bro. Not the steps. Maybe a wash machine? Don't run up the steps, bro. Oh my God! Boy, I don't like them steps, boy. Exactly. Wayne Harris Weirich is a local astronomer. We look very carefully at that this had a few bright spots. He has his own theory. I looked at all the launches from SpaceX and other publicly announced launches. My best guess is Reagan Air Force Base launched some sort of secret military flag and search to do whatever they're going to do to get rid of it. That's in California. We called, but a public affairs representative told us the timing of their launches also don't add up. And so we find mm. out more. I'm just glad people are outside looking up in the sky. In Oklahoma City, Caitlin Oval, Oklahoma News 4. We have contacted both uh, Space Force bases on each side of the uh, coast, along with a number of Air Force bases across the country, only to be directed to other bases. Let's keep you posted. I guarantee our viewers will be sending us ideas of what they think of. Yeah. Oh, we'll get it back to them. Uh, it's a good thing, too, that we are getting some moisture. <laughs> Why we gotta think about what it is, man? When they clearly said everybody said it's not them, who else is it, nigga? Like, come on now, let's get it together. <sighs> so right now I'm. <sighs> right now you' about to die. Like, what do you mean? Breathing out. <sighs> Okay, so I'm coming up out of peace and divine love to all the gods and goddesses, all the high vibration of beautiful souls and spirits, man. So I got a surprise for y'all today, man. It's called Mystery in the Sky. Let's dive in. It was December the 15th, 2018. 
When this picture was taken, you can see the ships that are here, uh, and they kept showing up by the thousands. There's so many ships. Now, in a stand song, family, two years ago, I came across this video of this lady talking. It's not the same video I just played. It was a video of another lady talking, and what she would do was take a picture of the sun, then she would strip the light. And in that video, once she stripped the light, man, I seen so many objects in the sky orbiting with the sun on a daily fucking basis. All type of objects, different shapes. Cigar-shaped objects, circular objects, even the little disc. My mind was fucking blown, dog. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. My mind was fucking blown. I screen recorded it. I sent it to everybody I knew. A couple months after that, I was looking for the video on my phone and I couldn't find it. Everybody I sent the video to, I was asking them for the video, but they ain't no shit I was talking about. It's like they memory was erased or some shit, bro. It was the most weirdest shit ever. For two years, I couldn't find this video. Then, I just came across something similar. That was the video I just played for y'all. I encourage everybody to try this shit for yourself. Just take a picture of the goddamn sky and strip the light. I don't know if she was using some type of lens, you know, to get closer or what. But they are definitely here. They been here, man. That's what I've been telling y'all, man. Y'all don't know that though. Y'all didn't know that. Because you can't tell. You feel me? You cannot tell. The technology is too fucking advanced. This is called bending the light, you feel me? This is how certain people shape shit and et cetera. And the crazy thing is I've been coming out saying this shit and people just been looking at me like I've been talking out my ass or something. Hella people came out before me talking about this shit. Scientists and et cetera. That's why y'all being distracted by so much shit. I need to start waking up right now because the moment you do decide to wake up, it might be too fucking late. Now, as you can see, like everybody been posting for the last couple of years, we got the cigar shape and many more. <laughs> like, bruh, you see this shit, man? And I'm sorry, the pictures ain't even as clear as the video that I seen for the first time, man. Y'all get what I'm trying to say, though, man. I love, value, appreciate, and adore every single last one of y'all. Ground, sun, gates, detox, meditate, fast. I see everything. Peace, family. In 2015, a resident in China captured footage of a perplexing, floating city in the sky, prompting debates on whether it was a real-life multiverse or a mad scientist's prank. Experts, however, identified it as a rare mirage called Fata Morgana, an optical illusion caused by specific weather conditions bending light rays. This phenomenon occurs when the sun heats one atmospheric layer while the layer below remains cool creating a temperature gradient and varying densities between layers. When light is refracted, our brains perceive the object at a higher position than reality. Yeah, I get what they're telling you that's there too as well. That's why when we speak about the different dimensions, it's not a fat, it's not, it's not something that's outside of the question. Like we, it's something that can, that's actually real. You just like they explain right here. That's just the, the dumbed down version to get you to be like, oh, that's just this, so you don't look any further. Because all of this stuff is happening simultaneously around us at the same time, y'all. I mean, time is not even a thing, but we make it a thing. But I don't want to get too deep into that, but yeah, 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 see what's going on. The bending of the light. They just explained that here too as well. That's what the experts will tell you, but it's a lot deeper than that. The captivating footage challenges perceptions. Emphasize live in different densities, different dimensions realms, whatever you want to call it. Realizing the fascinating interplay of atmospheric conditions and human perception. Portal in Sky. Since a tear in the sky isn't logically possible, the only explanation that remains is that this could very well be a portal. Amanda? <laughs> 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 
That shit bad. Hey, buddy cuz is not feeling that. He wasn't feeling that shit. She creepy too, but little buddy cuz is not feeling that. Hold up. Father takes his dog and his daughter out for a walk late at night and, while recording them, captures something disturbing on camera. Mark Rossback, the father who submitted the video, writes, I was filming my daughter and dog playing, but then all of a sudden, my daughter sees something in between the buildings that were across from us. This is the footage that was caught. <laughs> seen some yeah. oh like a big ass mosquito in the distance there appears to be someone or something floating above ground it goes without saying but Mark was left terrified when he saw this. Now, it wasn't until rewatching the footage a few days later that he spotted the mysterious figure. Immediately after seeing it, he thought he had captured a Kovitok, which is a mythic ghost-like entity that is said to roam all over Greenland. Whatever it was, Mark had been left unsettled by it, as well as others who've seen the footage, as it looks like a corpse that's floating in midair. Yeah. But of course, it could be something else. I'll let you come up with your own opinion, ghost or not. Feel free to let me know what you think. She poked her, bro. Why? Y'all need to get right. It's 
always happens when something bad, when something bad is, is uh, you know. Wind is definitely picking up. This is definitely 60 mile per hour winds. Might be maybe seven. trumpet or a tornado i've never heard a tornado sound like that even a powerful tornado but i mean or is it the wind blowing over a flat surface or is it the wind blowing over a round surface y'all let me know the different uh theories we have because at this point that'd be a theory i guess what makes sense to y'all is it sounds like something that's blown through a hole like a flute so is it a trumpet did we get there to that conclusion yet i don't know to me it sounds like a trumpet and not just some shit that scientists are going to say to try to make themselves sound cool and sound more smart than you. To prey on your skinny brain. <laughs> That's what they think about us, but yeah. All right, my daughter's room is up there, and we keep seeing some... All right, put your flashlight up. All right, flash it up there. Oh. Put your flashlight down. Let's see if it'll do it again. All right, put it up. Hurry. Oh. Mm. It appears that each time the light isn't on the window, the blinds move on their own. But if you look closely, you'll see that no fingers can be seen opening the blinds, right. let alone a fig. Earth is crazy, bro. Earth is strange, bro. Earth is real strange for us right now. You feel me? Earth just out here doing unearthly shit, and and, and, and things is just changing, man. Y'all send me more videos. Put it in the description down below. Y'all hit the Discord. Send me y'all videos if y'all want y'all videos to be featured on this video, on, on this channel. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all for tuning in. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to be dropping a lot more of these type of compilations, too, as well, bringing these back to the channel because i haven't did one in such a a long time but yeah we definitely gonna mix it up you know uh but look i see y'all in the next video man y'all let me know what y'all want to see we're gonna continue to grow we're gonna get to that million at some day man we just gotta keep building and keep building and keep building i got some important videos for y'all coming down the pipeline and also like i said we're gonna have these dropping too as well but look uh i see y'all in the next video and like i always say man spread love because there's too much hate in this world i love you guys i see you in the next video and I'm out, though. Bye.